back there and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a stroll back to yet another retro review with the only game that has eluded me in the Gears of War franchise with Judgment. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content that I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Gears of War Judgment was developed by People Can Fly and released by Microsoft Game Studios for the Xbox 360 in 2013. This game is a side story of the adventure-based heroics of Damon Baird. These events detail how he lost his rank as an officer detailed in Gears 1 through 3. Thanks to backwards compatibility, the Xbox Series X enhances the game to 4K visuals with a consistent 30 frames per second at all times. The story and main campaign is divided into six chapters that feel like Horde multiplayer that move from one section of the map to another. If you played Horde in previous Gears games, it is one map with waves of enemies attacking you constantly. In Judgment, the premise is pretty much beat all the enemies and you move on. Each section summarizes how you did in kills, executions, time and cover, etc. You compare with other teammates if you play multiplayer which is up to 4 players campaign. I have yet to see a Gears game that has this much intense action and enemy AI that is very offensive where they will attack you head on. The stress you have at all times will have you not even aiming at times just to survive the onslaught. The gameplay is tried and true Gears. Nothing has really changed. The game feels the same and anyone who has played previous installments can just jump right in with no issues. I'm on your side now. The graphics are some of the best I've ever seen on the Xbox 360 era. The problem is, you don't have time to enjoy what you are seeing as you are constantly being attacked. It's not hard to beat each section of the campaign and there are even challenges like only use pistol to only use your long shot to activate even more challenges as you go on further. Some of the biggest challenges have to deal with environmental changes like fog or dust so your visibility is very limited. You do feel great accomplishments afterwards as you complete the challenges that appear throughout the game. There is even another opportunity to play in Aftermath which takes place during Gears of War 3. This version is one long chapter with no challenges found like in Judgment. It details how Paddock fell out of love with the Cog and what happens to Baron and his crew. Overall, the game is an excellent visually explosive game with the most action I have ever seen in a Gears game. This game has the most divisive enemies as they throw everything at you and everything. I have never been this tense on every corner we travel through thinking that there was always something there to kill you and you kill at all times. The downfall here and biggest con is the simplistic story to get to the end with no real boss fights. My feeling is that with all the enemies, it feels like one long boss fight for survival. Gears of War Judgment gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its forgettable story but probably the best action entry in the Gears series so far including even the most current Gears. That's it for this episode as we look back at Gears of War Judgment. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg takes out of here and I will see you all next upload. <laughs> Yeah.